Norfolk State University is getting ready to host a Senate debate between Mark Warner and Dr. Daniel Gage. All week long, we are going to be bringing you stories about the HBCU and the role it's played here in Hampton Roads. Today, our Kara Dixon looks back on its history as it celebrates its 85th anniversary. In the land of the green and gold is a man who spent years searching through black and white records. To the church for the college? Mm -hmm. Dr. Tommy Bozier knows all about Norfolk State's history. He's helped preserve it. Well, Norfolk State is everything to me. Bozier served as the school's director of archives for years, but what you see now on this crisp, clean campus wasn't always so. It started very, very modestly. Uh, three rooms are on the second floor of the Hunting Branch YMCA on Bramington Avenue. They only had about four faculty members, very little resources, but uh, it has grown into what you see today. A long way from a college that started in 1935 during the Great Depression for those who needed as much help as possible. Establishing a two-year institution here in Norfolk, so that would cut down on the expenses of their students uh, and children uh, having to go away from home for four years. For decades, the college was run under other institutions such as Virginia Union and Virginia State. In 1956, it offered its first bachelor's degree and became an independent institution in 1969, a year after Bozier graduated with a degree in history. We didn't realize how good we were, really, because this was before white universities started admitting blacks on a large scale, so we were some very, very outstanding students here. We didn't have the facilities but we had very, very caring professors who brought us along and prepared us for the graduate school and, and life in general. An education that allowed him to pursue a master's and eventually a PhD from UVA before returning to the school and starting its archives. 50th anniversary under Dr. Harrison B. Wilson, I was able to talk to him in terms of uh, perhaps we should have an archives here on campus at Norfolk State that would help, help us uh, collect our history and even promote scholarship. And Boger says Wilson supported him all the way, allowing them to promote history and scholarship to remind the community of the legacy it's left and will continue to leave behind. In Norfolk, I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side. Great story, great history. Tomorrow, our Kara Dixon sits down with Norfolk State's president, Dr. Javon Adams-Gaston, about the future of the university.